guess what's in the bag is going to be honest and truthful and you're going to see exactly what's in my golf bag but a secret weapon what probably help you in fact there's two secret weapons what will lower your score without a shadow of a doubt so i'm here at formby hall callaway driver first epic i'll tell you all about it let me give this a whack Yes, Callaway Epic got fitted at American Golf by my friend Nick Taylor, who's now in Singapore. So it's a big bear for Epic, it's set on 9 degrees, it's some hazardous stiff shaft, 60 degree. Do we have a nickname for it? No, disobedient child, just does what it wants. Golf mates, from a driver, I don't have a 3 or a 5 wood, I just don't feel I'm good enough for them. So I've got this 16 degree Pro Callaway x hot i think i paid about 40 quid for it from a bargain bucket at some golf shop somewhere nickname for this i've just decided we're going to call it thunderbirds international rescue probably lose this ball so i'll put a spud down i pulled the titties off that so it's still in play moving on Right, this is next, moving down from Thunderbirds, it is not exactly a new club, but it's been renamed, it's like had a christening, rebirth, do you know what I mean, baptised and all that monarchy. It's called Turdhead, yes, Turdhead. And this is a pin crossover, four iron, 22 degrees, nice and sparkling, it's regular flex, <laughs> I think the other was we're stiff, 70 degree, uh, 70 grams. And let's see if it's any good. So I just want to put it down there about 230. I need to draw it first and then just get it high and it should drop nicely on the green. Yeah, it's not wicked. So that's why I called it turd head. Right, I'll come back to my irons. I'm going to show you what's inside my bag because there's two there's two gadgets what I think, uh, well they're like a mystery power for you lot, you'll just love them. Absolutely secret weapon. Right, so first secret weapon is this. I have it inside of my big golf bag. Oh, it's not. It's my master's hat. Now, when you're going bald like me and it gets sunny, you need this on. So, think of the scenario, you're playing well. You par the first four holes, then you do a bogey and a par, and you've got an handicap of 10, and you're playing well, and you just get a double bogey and another double bogey, but you've still started off well. You, you like going through a bad period in your round, don't you? So, what you want to do is get yourself some Tampax, right? You just want one of them in your pocket, and it should just steady the ship then, you know, through your bad period of round, and you should start playing well again. So, that's magic power number one. Get yourself some Tampax. What else have we got in here? I've got some empty balls. Oh, that's them lying Callaway balls. I've got a glove, it's minging. I think I'll be putting that on again. Got one of these pens. Some talcum powder. It's just when it's dead warm underneath your balls. What else have we got in here? Right in here. Ah! Perfect, so a battery for the cheetah meter. You definitely need a spare one of them because when that goes, oh, it's a nightmare. I've got a little yo yo for a nurse to paint or something. Some gloves, more gloves. Anybody who knows me, I have a suffer from a bad back, so DP, DP all the time. Right, just found some money here. I think this is from Morocco. Not worth a tomang. Oh, another secret power. Let's say you've got three holes left and you need to turn it on. You need a light switch. Always have a light switch in your golf bag. Just need to turn it on, big driver. You need to get a birdie at last three holes or par them. A light switch. Goes against a bad period, but a light switch. So we've got any, some more gloves.
Thing for cleaning your clubs, that's redundant. Some balls. I have a mixture of all sorts of balls. I've even got this, look, a Wilson K ball. Got a nice Pro V, someone must have lost that. Not much else in there, tees, pencils. Pitch repairer, you always do your pitch marks. I've got to be honest with that one. What else have we got in here? Oh, the people who wear glasses, screen wipes, you always got to keep them clean your windows, you know what I mean? Another glove, but that's rancid. Now these are brilliant, wet mac, sorry, this is not a wet mac, it's a wet glove. These are fantastic in the rain, but I've been being honest, and I really mean being honest, they stink like the dick's underwear. They are minging, you just, you've got to keep them in plastic or something like that, and wash your hands when you finish with them. Let's get back on the fairway, show you my irons. So the irons I use are ping eyes. I don't know how old they are, about six year olds. Minging they are. But I like them. Now I went for a fitting for a Cobra one length and I struggled with them, but the fitter said these need to be flat or upright or something, they're not right for me. But I don't think whatever I use. Spud ball, hopefully don't go in water. Pop that back in a minute. That's fish food, that, that's gone. So my irons are ping eyes. Uh, I got, I didn't get fitted for them. I got fitted for ping eye 15s. God, probably 10 year ago now. At Loughborough, is it Loughborough? By ping. And I just got these straight after them. So I, I think they're right for me. If they're not, I don't know. As you can see, I'm not caring about my clubs. But why am I doing this what's in the bag? Well, basically I'm at form be all because we're doing a a charity YouTube or Instagram, I don't know. People on social network YouTube day or golf day, I don't know what it is, but it doesn't really matter. It's about this prostate cancer we're doing it for. So we're at Formby Hall, 6 of May, 3 o'clock. I'll be here, the date can OMP. And basically, come along. I'll be putting in the description all be the links how you can get. I think it's £10 to come. And basically that goes straight to prostate cancer. So joking around with the what's in the bag and that. That's the main the main goal of this what's in the bag, just for sure a bit of awareness uh, for prostate cancer. And get you here. Come and have a pint with me, you one part and the dick. I think it's a singles event. I won't lie to you. I'll make my own rules up. If we're playing rubbish and you want to come and have a shot, come and have a shot with old man part and us. We walk her. Can't kick us out, can they? We're already teed off, do you know what I mean? It's all for a good cause. Anyway, wedges. Let's have a look at wedges because I've got a few balls left to show you and I can't keep losing balls with wedges, can I? Back's gone. Can you tell I'm struggling? Get up. Oh, come on. Right, so wedges. I carry two wedges. Tightless BVs, whatever they mean. I've got a 52 degree and a 60, but I think that's bent to 58. I think. I'm not too sure. This is an M grind and this is an F grind. And what that means is I have not got a Scooby-Doo. I have not got a Foggiest. No idea. Probably don't want to know because it makes no difference. But am I a wizard with this? Let's have a look. Like that. How good with that? Come on, show you the bunker play with this beautiful... S grind 60. Right, golf mates, what we've got here is my 60 degree tightless BV M grind. And this just makes bunker play very simple. It's just easy to get a simple bunker shot here, no problem. Maybe with a better player, but yeah, 60 degree, tightless, bulky. Golf mates, right, business end. You could duff it, chip it, fin it, pull it, slice it, do what you want. But if you get it on the green, this could save you a shot. So putter, now this putter is a ping, I can't pronounce it, Ketash, can dance, 355 grams. So, I don't really like the grip. I was going to change the grip and then I realised I can't. It's not my putter. I've borrowed it off a good friend of mine, Daniel Gabbins, who's a touring professional. 
and he's not he's doing all right this year he could do a bit better so he might want it back so i was close to uh re-gripping this putter but i can't because it's not mine so technically i haven't got a putter i've borrowed this but i've had it for about six months now i mean i think it was a lot better condition when you give it me or oh, ping vault whatever that means so we're here at form be all tempo i'm gonna go and edit this now and have some breakfast golf mates all i can say is this prostate cancer we've been involved with it for a long time now uh, rick shields is putting up a great day and it's going to be a fun day i think there is people going a bit fancy winning the youtube player of the year and all that me or wmp in the dick not ours we've got young josh caddying for the dick we've got hopefully we've got young matt caddying for omp i've not got a caddy but Comment below if you want a caddy, I might draw you out and if I'm playing crap you could have a few holes, who cares, it's only a charity today then we'll have a couple of beers. But it's a fun day and the main priority is this, prostate cancer. So hope you enjoyed the video.